step number three. Just don't get sweaty in your sunglasses. I can't even see. It's amazing. We got five easy miles today. Each mile I'm gonna give you a tip on how to stay consistent, how to run every day. It's probably a million tips, a million ways to do it. We could probably do this video about 20 times throughout the course of this journey. But it just happened. It's a little Wednesday wisdom. Uh, I'm gonna do a stride out after 10 minutes, one every four minutes. So. Just get the legs ready for tomorrow. See you in a mile. So my first tip to stay consistent is to set checkpoints. I think uh, running and health need to be lifelong goals, but I think every once in a while I get up a checkpoint. Like 4th of July, I'd say, well, I'd run 5k trial. It's for 5k in like four or five years. And I worked and worked and worked. And that was my checkpoint. And I surprised myself. Kind of like held back, held back. And then ran an awesome. So, have checkpoints, set a calendar, do the old school Sharpie marker, some X's every single day. And then when you hit that checkpoint, evaluate. I think I have a stride out to do. Let's get it. A mile two, tip number two. Get your workout done first thing in the morning. Like, just get out the door and go do it. Don't worry about how you feel. Just put your shoes on and go. A lot of people ask like, what are you gonna do when you get back to work and you get into school at like 7.30 in the morning? I'd say like, just wake up earlier. I've already had a handful of 4.30, 5.30 runs through this thing. So, it's not too bad. Just get it done. Go sleep in your running clothes. That's all you had to do in the morning. Just put your shoes on and go. Let's get straight at it. Alright, the real tip number three is have a log, whether that's you write it down by yourself, all your uh, Apple watches, GPS watches, have some sort of app that'll track everything for you. So log everything, reflect at least weekly over what went well, and then more importantly, compete with yourself. If a month ago you can go back and see you're averaging 11 minute pace per mile, and now you're averaging nine minute pace. That's a win. Be happy about it. You're getting better. You're getting fitter. So that's tip number three. Keep a log. Okay, tip number four 
is understanding the difference between being sore and tired and actually like hurt and injured. You're gonna roll out of bed and you're gonna be sore and tired, but you're not gonna be hurt and injured for the most part. You gotta go get it. You never know what's gonna happen until you put your shoes on. So give it at least a mile, see how you feel. A lot of times you'll get going. You might have the best run of your life. It was five miles easy. Felt really good. Uh, stride out to the middle of the felt smooth. About 8.52 pace per average. I think there's gonna be some upset teenagers. Whenever this cross country season kicks off, the coach D spoke with them on the Heritage Trail. So, number one tip, or tip number five, I forgot, is uh, share your goals. Talk about them specifically. Talk to your friends about them. Hold each other accountable. Make sure, you know, they don't have to hold your vision, but the good ones will support you and they'll remember they'll hold you accountable. Yeah. Some ones you might have to cut loose will be the naysayers. Yeah, always give you the what ifs and the whatevers. Yeah. Just put the shoes on every day. Makes you a better person. So talk about your goals. Stick with it, stay consistent. Keep talking about them and they might not become a reality but you'll learn stuff about yourself on the way you'll learn you know, what makes you you that you're a lot stronger than what you thought that you could do things that weren't imaginable weeks months years ago so stick with it don't give up stay consistent and get after it happy running